To be the best vessel of God we can be, we have to guard our heart. We have to keep our peace and keep our joy. The devil knows the power of your peace and your joy. A lot of you think that the devil's trying to attack you in all different ways, but many times the big thing he's after is to steal your peace and joy. Because the devil knows that he's defeated. So he'll try many times, okay, well, I'm gonna try to take her peace and joy so that she won't shine or he won't shine as bright. I wanna diminish the joy and peace that God in her or him, at least a little bit. And we don't think that way often. We think like, the devil's trying to kill me. He can't kill you. The devil's trying to stop what God's called me to do, this purpose in my life. He can't do that. I mean, when you know that you're surrendered, you know God's on your side. He can't do that. Oh, what if the devil succeeds in his plan? He's not going to succeed and he never would, but he did take your peace and joy what he was after. You need to decide to make this change. I will make the commitment to guard my heart, to not let the devil take my peace or joy. When you have Jesus, there's so much more good than bad. But what happens when the enemy tries to take our peace and joy? He tries to bring distraction. We turn our eyes from all the good and we put it completely to the bad. And so we're missing out on enjoying, enjoying all these blessings from God, enjoying the victory that's coming, thinking about the promises that will be fulfilled and having joy and excitement from that. We are missing out on that because you can't have one eye here and one eye here. It doesn't work, right? So you go completely to the bad and the peace and joy leaves completely. But if you could just go like this, fix your eyes on whatever is pure, worthy of praise, good, admirable, lovely, the blessings, the promises, the goodness of God, his faithfulness, the spiritual truth, then you would stay in peace and joy and the devil can never steal it.